Hello to everyone. Did you know that there is a new function in Excel that returns historical price data of any stocks in many stock exchanges around the world, including our Philippine Stock Exchange? With this new function, you do not have to download stock prices from external sources to analyze in Excel. Excel can provide those prices directly inside your spreadsheet. So come and join me. Let us explore the new stock data type and stock history function in Excel. Okay, so we have two topics for today. The first one is stock. It's one of the data types in Excel. And the second one is the new Excel function stock history. Or we need to type in first the ticker symbol of some of the uh, companies in the Philippines. So let's so let's type in JFC for Jollibee Foods Corporation, SM, also BDO, Ayala Land, PLDT. So these five, some of the biggest companies in the Philippines, and these are their ticker symbols. So to convert this text to a stock data type, we need to go to data and click this stocks. It says here convert to stocks. Convert sales with company names or ticker symbols to get current stock price info like price, exchange, and more. And it is powered by Bing. So make sure that you are online free to work. So let's press stock. And then once you see this icon here, it automatically means that these are already converted into a stock data type. So we have an icon here at the uh, right top corner. So if we press this icon here, we have the option to select which field we would like to populate. Let's say we would like to get the price i think that's the closing price uh, we can also get the market capital capitalization market cap we can also get the headquarters or the address so if you want to change something you just have to delete it and you can choose again what else you can also um, select yours incorporated so we have several selection here uh, for you to choose which of the field type or a field that you would like to populate Okay, next topic is about stock history. Let's delete it first. And then I just want to put it put it aside first. And then let's create a validation listing. So data validation listing. A list. And then Okay. So let's choose first Jollibee Foods Corporation. So let's go and use the function stock history. So stock history, we have several arguments. This is the syntax for stock history. We have the stock, the name of the stock, which means we need to select this cell here because we want to use the Jollibee Food Corporation as an example. And then we have the start date, the end date, the interval, the headers, and then the properties. The, the properties, we have several selections there. We can choose the closing price, the high price, the low, and the opening price for that specific date. So let's go. Let's select uh, this type here. Tama. And then the start date, we can hard code the start date here or we can uh, refer it to a cell or we can use the formula functions. So for this example, let's just hard code the cell and make sure that you enclose it in close quotes. So January 1, 2021, and then comma, the end date is, the, let's say today, comma, we, ha we want to have the daily interval, we want the header, comma, and then here we can select which of the field pertaining to stock prices. So we, we, I want date, we can select multiples and then close. We'll get this dynamic array. So Excel will give us an array which will spill. So from here, we can straight create a chart. We can just go create a simple line chart. Select this with, and immediately we would have this simple line chart. So if you want to select another uh, symbol or a company, we can just select the, from the drop down list, let's say video bank, and then the array will dynamically change depending on our selection. So we we'll go, we'll change another one, PLDT. We can bring the dates out actually. So instead of hard coding the date inside our formula, what we can do is we can do a cell reference. 
but there are also charts that are applicable to stock itself so we, let's try to check it out let's go to all chart we have this selection here or preference to use a stock chart but we have several criteria on how we can use it we need to have the fields high low closed open high low closed and the volume high low closed and then the last one volume open high low closed since our data is only closed we cannot select this date so probably we'll use this this type of chart we'll get the information for the open high low close and then we'll use it we'll use this chart which will go back there so we'll go back to that so we just have to clear this and let's clear our formula so again stock history stock will refer it to the cell our start date will re refer it to the cell too our end date is today our um, interval is daily our uh, we, we want header comma and then the date of course then we have the open comma the high the low and the closing prices so we'll close the um, close the formula and then it will retrieve those prices online so these are the prices open high low close so since we already have those information open high low close let's try to create that stock chart so let's go to insert let's go to all chart and let's go to stock so we'll select this one open high low closed so since our data is providing all the information for this chart to be uh, populated now we get this chart available for us so we'll just take out the grid lines and then we'll try to select the several charts that we would like to analyze let's say i'd like to use jollibee now we're getting the chart for jollibee uh, sm and ayala land so thank you for watching and see